Hello, this is Toll from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can randomly and automatically apply color to multiple objects in Blender without having to do much in terms of you applying the color yourself. Now I'm going to just do this from the beginning so you can understand the whole concept of it. Now we're going to get rid of the camera. Delete that and the cube also let's delete that we're going to kind of increase the brightness of our scene i've got my keyboard shortcuts on so you can follow if you want to follow along so we're going to press shift a on our keyboard and we're going to use suzanne as an example press one to get the front view and scroll up on our mouse wheel and we're going to subdivide it just once Press W on your keyboard to shade smooth. I'm going to scroll back down. We're going to apply a texture because this is the only way this is going to work. Uh, this technique is going to work in terms of applying random color to, to uh, different models in your scene. And this can be applied to like maybe balloons or candy, you know, things like that. So I'm going to go over to my texture tab, click on that, add new. I'm just going to name this monkey. Enter. And I'm going to duplicate it a few times. Let me minimize this. So shift, let me see, shift D. Let's click on our move gizmo. Let's drag it over. Shift D again. And drag this over. So we'll use these three monkey heads as uh, an example. Then we're going to divide our window into uh, two sections here and yeah, my son just woke up and he's calling for me um let me let me get back to the tutorial uh, a little bit hold on guys hold on okay I'm back yeah my son just woke up from his nap mid nap even though my wife's here sometimes he just wants me to help him go back to sleep so hopefully he'll be able to get enough rest till I until I finish this tutorial. Okay, so we've duplicated the monkeys and we've given them the same uh, same texture. And I will want to look at the, it through the EV viewport. So let's click on that. Let me turn on my uh, screencast keys again to turn this off in order to. Oh, is this, are they still on? No, let me see. Oh, there they are. Okay. And so this is all white up here. This is our viewport through the EV um, viewport. And we're going to turn this into the uh, shader editor. Let's click on that. Not that. So let's click on that. And go to shader editor. I'm going to scroll up on our mouse, mouse wheel here. And the first thing we're going to do to this is add a color ramp to it. So shift A on your keyboard and we're going to look for color ramp. And that should be, let me see, sometimes if you press uh, space, the space bar, it'll give you the option to search. But I've seen from my own experience, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But your color ramp should be in your vector, the vector uh, menu. Is it in here? Oh, hold on. Oh, sorry, it should be in your converter 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 let's click on color ramp drag this over we're not we're going to connect the uh, node output of the color ramp from our color ramp to the node input of our principal shader the base color just click and drag that over I'm going to scroll up and we're going to change the uh, let me see the colors here you can turn to any color you want initially, doesn't really matter. Let me turn this to yellow. Click on this. It's white now, so you can just turn this to yellow also. And the important thing here is to change the, your uh, set color mode user for interpolation. I'm just reading, reading the pop up. But turn this from RGB to HSV. That way you have this option of far. Click on that. You can see it gives us a spectrum of color from end to end. And the next thing you want to do is add a... Let me see if I can remember this. 
um, a output info node so shift a again go to input and then go down to object info and there it is right there click on that left click to verify that selection or that choice and we're going to drag our or connect our random node to the factor node and we do this look into the top viewport and you, you'll see the changes here I'm gonna click and drag that over and give it a few minutes and there you go it changes everything to a different color a random color and the cool thing about this is that when you create a new instance of a mesh or model using this uh, technique it automatically adds a new color to uh, the new object so we're going to do shift D and drag this up this is orange click on that shift D drag it down now it's red and this will just keep going on and you can actually do this same technique with the uh, textures but that's uh, a, a bigger node setup which I'll try to look into that later but yeah, if you want to have random colors applied to objects in your scene like balloons you don't, you don't want to have to do this do it like object by object change, changing the color object by object for balloons or for candy or for random things in your scene this is the way to do it it's automatic and it's random so that's today's quick tip in blender i uh, hope you guys learned something from this tutorial this quick tip and once again thank you guys who have subscribed in the past and those of you who are subscribing now really appreciate it and i will see you all on the next one all right adios